have a seat. Now you are here for ah good good. So let's get started, shall we? Now you how's my day? Ah, today I'm angry. Like really, really fucking angry. Yeah? So as as you may know, and by the time that you read this, the government would put through another law, another act, yeah. The Digital Economy Bill. Now, this has just been passed through and it is essentially a snoopers bill. One that will probably even make the Chinese go But, all this is done is just legalised what they've already been doing for years. But, the thing I'm going to rant about, and I could go on about that, but that's already happened, you know? They've already been doing it for years. What can I do? But what they have done this time, all in the name of public safety. How many more liberties are we going to give up? just so some of us can feel safe. But I digress, I digress. What really pisses me off? Now, the biggest part of this Digital, digital Economy Act that pisses me off is they are telling me what I can and cannot watch in pornography. Right? Me. Basically, anything, any online pornography made or hosted in the UK is now no longer allowed to have anything that could not be released on a major DVD. This has been criticised on both sides. Some people saying that it impeaches freedom of speech and others that it doesn't do enough. Now, in order to protect underage people using the internet, they did try bringing in a few years ago, which got defeated a thing for the ISPs to when they install your internet to say do you want adult content yes no that was defeated now their newest idea is an age verification database where you will have to register officially with ID passable driver license yeah to sign up then be able to use porn sites on the internet. That's right, an ID card. So, this I have an issue with because that will basically mean the government has a list of all the filth that I'm into. And there are worries that that can be hacked and then used against them. Let alone other issues in it. Ah, oh, a number of acts in pornography that are now illegal to do, to be hosted or to be made in the UK. Now, some of these may make sense. You think stuff like snuff movies. 
I'll read these out and then you can judge it for yourself, alright? Now, there is no more spanking, no caning, or whipping. No penetration of any object associated with violence. No physical or verbal abuse. No water sports. So if you are in to be impeded on, that's going to stop. No, no physical restraints. So that's all the BDSM guys done. No female ejaculation. So I'm sorry women, you guys are no longer allowed to enjoy yourselves. No strangulation. No face sitting, which will upset my wife. Last of all, no fisting, so which has become known unofficially as the rule of four, no more than four digits in any single orifice. And I, no, don't get me wrong, I can understand there being a need limiting what children can access on the internet for adult content. But don't get me wrong, this should fall onto the parents, not the fucking government. And also, if they're gonna make an age verification process, why the hell are they limiting stuff if they already know that anyone's doing it is an adult? We got a little something. A lot of this is based on anything that could be seen as obscene. Now, this all comes from a law called, please bear in mind, it's 2016, yeah. So it's a bit different. Now, this act was called the Obscene Publications Act 1959. Yeah, let that sink in. They're judging what we can do now on what was seen 70 years ago. Ooh, ooh, remember how, remember how sweet and how innocent it was back in the 50s. These people that were kids in the 50s and now one in our fucking country now. Oh, oh, it was so sweet. There were less black people then. It's just... Absurd. Oh, also should be mentioned that in 1959, two men who were lovers would go to prison because sexuality, uh, because homosexuality wasn't legalized until 1967. But remember how peaceful it was. Remember how innocent we were. And the people who are making these laws do not understand how the internet works. It's mostly to quell parents who are too stupid and irresponsible to look after their own children. Now, don't get me wrong, that will not stop people accessing porn. Every single device I own can get porn. And although I lack children, you know how I'll stop it? Put on a fucking passcode. you have some kids, take some fucking responsibility for it. Explain things to them. Don't be scared. There is plenty, plenty of software and help out there in how so you can protect your children on the internet. Don't let them use the internet when you are there. Don't give them a phone until they're adults. Talk to them about what 
pornography is. It doesn't have to be with kids, obviously. But they learn sex education in school. I found my first porn magazine when I was 11 in the bush. Now, don't get me wrong. That's much lighter than what you can get on the internet. But still, I took it home. My dad explained it to me and then twatted me. What are you going to do? But there's a bigger issue here than just my disgusting habits on the internet. This is legalised censorship. Now, there's a lot of people out there that go, oh, porn is disgusting. I wouldn't watch porn. I bet my husband wouldn't watch it. Yeah, I bet he doesn't. So, they'll be like, why should we care? There's only pornography. Well, you should care because porn and other industries like this, the ones that have a reputation, are always the first ones that get blacked out. And as soon and as it's pornography, there's not going to be an outcry because of the embarrassment associated with it. So, people like me, who have no Shame. Get judged. And a lot of people are afraid of that. But if this works, and this goes through, what's to stop the government censoring the media? Or the newspapers? Which are the same thing. Or books, or music, or anything. There's no stop in it. And this is what they've got to help you held accountable for. Now, there are several online petitions which I might link below but the biggest issue is one went through it had multiple hundreds of thousands of signatures and the government went nah it's going through it's for your safety considering the amount of government scandals there have been recently about child pornography rings, paedophilia and stuff. This seems a little hypocritical. Alright, we're nearly done. Now, just some finishing touches. Now, some little words I want to leave you with. <clears throat> if you don't like porn, don't fucking watch it. If you have kids, take some fucking responsibility about what they can and can't access. There's plenty of software. Don't let them use the internet without you being there. Oh, but they'll get it on their phones. Don't give them a fucking phone, they're a kid. The government want to have their say in what I can and can't watch between two, between two consenting adults doing what they want to do to each other for my pleasure. And theirs. But the government can fuck children and get away with it. Get it all nice and covered up. Hush, hush. And the last touches. And there. You're a tiger. Hi. Hi right, then, Jimmy. Go back to your friends. There's cake and balloons over there. Enjoy your party.